Anne Seldom was a wonderful and important Canadian composer. She was also a really important figure in the history of women in the arts in Canada. And she was a trailblazer, not only because of her success, but also she was a real activist. My name is Tamara Bernstein, and I've come to the Banff Centre to write something on the composer Anne Seldom, and also to be a, a kind of resource person as they start cataloguing her papers, which are becoming part of the Banff Centre archives. Anne had a connection to the Banff Centre. She studied here as a pianist, as a piano student in the late 50s and early 60s. She found in pattern music uh, something that really resonated with her feminist ideas. She felt that in pattern music, all this repetition and varied repetition and the uh, complete rejection of the idea of grandiose climaxes uh, in music. And, and to her, that, that very much connected with women and what women's traditional work is, like weaving, sewing, washing dishes. They're life-sustaining, but they're not considered heroic or particularly valuable. And she felt um, a parallel with that in the kinds of music that she was writing. When Anne came of age, the new music world was really, well, classical music in general still is very sexist and male-dominated. You grow up, you're a composer, and none of your profs are going to be female. Almost no one on the concerts is going to be female. None of the artistic directors is going to be female. So Anne was very instrumental in the founding of the Association of Canadian Women Composers. She was their founding president, and that organization did a lot of good to kind of give female composers a sense of community and a sense that they are entitled to be creative in a, a musical economy that was not particularly interested in them. Anne always had a sense of lyricism even when she was working with very intricate dissonances and you know lyricism is very natural and she didn't apologize for it she just did her thing and towards the end of her life she was really just starting to get international uh, recognition. Alex Ross in The New Yorker singled um, a recording of her 2007 piece, Simple Lines of Enquiry, as one of his top CDs of the year in 2009. She got the Order of Canada in the last year of her life. So that was really wonderful. Um, it was kind of a vindication of someone who just, just was true to their own voice. And I think that's very inspiring for artists of any age. I think it's better slower because I think it... Um... <clears throat> There's more of a connection between the intro and what you're getting. I can feel that you're now moving on to comment on the on the role in a sense. <laughs> 